Good morning. I hope that you are well and that you had a lovely week. Last week we celebrated that Jesus has risen and that he's alive. Today we're going to hear about two of his followers who did not understand this. But first, let's sing together. <laughs> Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on Love's 
now sit back and watch the video about the two men on the road to Emmaus. After Jesus had been taken from them and brutally crucified on the cross, the disciples of Jesus were left confused and downhearted. It had been three days since the tragedy when two of the disciples began the seven-mile journey to a village called Emmaus. When they traveled together, they talked about the things that had happened. At a certain point in their journey, another man joined them and continued with them in conversation. The man was Jesus, their beloved master, but the disciples did not recognize him. The man asked, what is it that you are talking about? The disciples were surprised that he was not aware of the recent events that had shaken the city. With a sorrowful look, Cleopas, one of the two disciples, answered the stranger, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened over the past days? Jesus pretended not to know, saying, What things? The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a great and mighty prophet, they replied. Our own chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be contemned to death and they crucified him. We had hoped that he was the one to save all of Israel, but here we are three days later, left alone and confused. And to add to the confusion, some of the women in our group came back from the tomb and declared to us that the body was gone, that they had seen a vision of angels who told them he was alive. Jesus responded to their words, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that has been recorded in scripture. Did the prophet say that the Messiah would have to suffer these things first? Then he opened up the scriptures and began to show them everything concerning himself. The disciples were completely amazed at the man's words, so that when they arrived at their destination, they strongly urged him to stay and join them for supper. Jesus agreed to stay and sat down with the men. He took the bread before him, gave thanks to God, broke it, and handed the pieces to the disciples, and it was in that moment that they finally recognized him as Jesus, their beloved master. But no sooner did they recognize him that he vanished from their sight. The two disciples were filled with awe and completely overwhelmed as they recounted every word that Jesus had spoke to them. They exclaimed, didn't our hearts burn with us while he talked to us on the road and while he showed us the scriptures? Their eyes had been opened and their troubled hearts set free. The stranger was Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah, and he was indeed alive. It might be easy for us to think that his followers should have known that it was Jesus, but they had just been through a hard time. They knew that Jesus had been crucified so he would not have been their first guess as to who they were talking to on that road. Jesus had to open their eyes to see that it was him. And in the same way, Jesus need to open our eyes and the eyes of all the people in the world to know that he is alive and that he is our savior. Let's pray. God, thank you that Jesus died for our sins. Not only did he die, but he defeated death and rose again. Thank you that Jesus is alive and reaching out to us, that he wants to teach us and guide us. Open our eyes because we want to see Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to sing one more song and then you can do the activities that is attached to this lesson. Safe in the Savior's hands It will not be
Enjoy the activities now and we'll see you again next week.